Hello. Don't forget to like and subscribe before starting the video. Who is Harry S. Truman? Harry S. Truman was the 33rd President of the United States, serving from 1945 to 1953. He was born on May 8, 1884, in Lamar, Missouri, and grew up on a farm in a small town. Truman attended school in Independence, Missouri, and worked a variety of jobs, including as a clerk, a farmer, and a bank teller, before enlisting in the Missouri National Guard in 1905. Truman's military service continued when he served in World War I as an artillery captain. After the war, he returned to Missouri and entered politics, serving as a county judge and then as a senator from Missouri. Truman's political career reached a turning point in 1944, when he was chosen as Franklin D. Roosevelt's running mate for the presidential election. When Roosevelt died in 1945, Truman was sworn in as president, making him the first president since William McKinley to come to office by means other than being elected. As president, Truman faced significant challenges, including the end of World War II, the beginning of the Cold War, and a number of domestic issues. Nevertheless, he was known for his plain-spoken demeanor and his commitment to doing what he believed was right. Truman left office in 1953, and his legacy continues to be felt in American politics and history. Harry S. Truman was born in Lamar, Missouri, on May 8, 1884. He grew up in a family of farmers and spent most of his childhood living in small towns throughout Missouri. Truman's family moved to Independence, Missouri, when he was a teenager, and he attended high school there. After graduating from high school, Truman attended two years of college but was forced to drop out due to financial difficulties. He then worked a series of jobs, including as a farmer, a clerk, and a bank teller. In 1905, Truman enlisted in the Missouri National Guard and served for six years. When the United States entered World War I, Truman was called to active duty and served as an artillery captain in France. His service in the war had a significant impact on him and helped shape his worldview. After returning from the war, Truman entered politics. He was elected as a county judge in Missouri in 1922, and then served as a senator from Missouri from 1935 to 1945. As a senator, Truman became known for his integrity and his willingness to take on corruption in government. In 1944, Truman was chosen as Franklin D. Roosevelt's running mate for the presidential election. Although he had not been a particularly high-profile figure in national politics up to that point, Truman proved to be an effective campaigner and was seen as a safe choice for vice president. When Roosevelt died in April 1945, Truman became president. He faced a number of significant challenges during his presidency, including the end of World War II, the beginning of the Cold War, and domestic issues such as civil rights and labor disputes. Nevertheless, Truman remained committed to doing what he believed was right, and his leadership helped shape the course of American history. Truman's ascension to the presidency came unexpectedly following the death of Franklin D. Roosevelt on April 12, 1945. At the time, Truman was serving as vice president, but he had not been extensively involved in the decision-making process of the Roosevelt administration. As a result, Truman was initially somewhat overwhelmed by the responsibilities of the presidency. Despite this, Truman quickly proved himself to be a capable leader. One of his major domestic policy initiatives was the Fair Deal, a set of proposals aimed at expanding social welfare programs, increasing the minimum wage, and promoting civil rights. Although many of these proposals were not ultimately enacted, Truman's advocacy for social welfare and civil rights laid the groundwork for later reforms. In foreign policy, Truman oversaw a number of significant achievements. The Marshall Plan, which provided economic aid to Western Europe after World War II, is often cited as one of his most important accomplishments. Truman also played a key role in the creation of NATO, the military alliance between the United States and its European allies. However, Truman's presidency was not without controversy. Perhaps the most controversial decision of his presidency was the decision to drop atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, in August 1945. In addition, Truman faced criticism for his handling of the Korean War, which began in 1950. The war was initially popular with the American public, 
but as it dragged on and casualties mounted, support for the conflict waned. Truman was criticized for his decision to fire General Douglas MacArthur, who had advocated for a more aggressive approach to the war. Despite these controversies, Truman is widely regarded as an important figure in American history. His leadership during a turbulent period in American and world history helped shape the course of the 20th century, and his legacy continues to be felt in American politics and society today. After leaving the presidency in 1953, Truman remained active in public life. He continued to advocate for civil rights, speaking out against segregation and racial discrimination. Truman's advocacy for civil rights was notable for its time, as it came at a time when many politicians were still hesitant to take a strong stance on the issue. Truman also remained involved in international relations, serving as a roving ambassador for the United States. He traveled extensively throughout the world, meeting with world leaders and promoting American interests. In addition to his advocacy and diplomatic work, Truman wrote several books, including a memoir entitled, Memoirs by Harry S. Truman, 1945 Year of Decisions, and a biography of his predecessor, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Today, Truman is remembered as an important figure in American history. His presidency was marked by significant achievements in both domestic and foreign policy, and his advocacy for civil rights and racial equality helped lay the groundwork for later reforms. Truman is also remembered for his down-to-earth style and his ability to connect with ordinary Americans. He was known for his plain-spoken manner and his willingness to take on tough challenges, and these qualities continue to inspire Americans today. Overall, Truman's legacy continues to be felt in American politics and society today. His commitment to social welfare, civil rights, and international diplomacy helped shape the course of the 20th century and his leadership continues to be an inspiration to future generations of Americans. Harry S. Truman's life and presidency were marked by significant achievements and contributions to American history. From his humble beginnings in Missouri, to his service in World War I, to his entry into politics, Truman rose to become the 33rd President of the United States, serving from 1945 to 1953. During his presidency, Truman implemented important domestic policies such as the Fair Deal and his efforts to desegregate the military. He also oversaw significant foreign policy achievements, including the Marshall Plan and the creation of NATO. However, his decision to drop the atomic bombs on Japan and his handling of the Korean War were also controversial. After leaving office, Truman continued to advocate for civil rights and international diplomacy. He remains an important figure in American history, remembered for his plain-spoken manner, his willingness to take on tough challenges, and his commitment to social welfare, civil rights, and international cooperation. In conclusion, Harry S. Truman's contributions to American history are significant and enduring. As Truman himself once said America was not built on fear. America was built on courage, on imagination and an unbeatable determination to do the job at hand. Some text goes here. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.